hey guys welcome back so today we will be talking about this uh, tool this reference geometry tool uh, because uh, I mean every sketch which we have, which we make in SOLIDWORKS every sketch uh, whether it is related to any features or anything so everything is made on some plane or with respect to some plane or with, uh, or with respect to some axis or some uh, points which we are joining so I mean every now and then we, we require some reference uh, to work upon so to have a complete understanding of this tool is very necessary so uh, first uh, uh, let me show you I'll create first of all a sketch on the front plane I'll draw a line okay so now I exit the line so now if I go to the reference geometry tool and I click on it so some certain sub tools uh, come out uh, this plane axis coordinate system point and mate reference so first of all these four are important this mate reference uh, is used when we have multiple parts and uh, we want to assemble them so it's required then only and uh, but uh, uh, inside a part we will require only these four tools so, um, <coughs> so how to create a reference plane that's a question so in SOLIDWORKS which uh, by default we have uh, we are having uh, three planes front plane and top plane and right plane so these are the three planes which we have by default but uh, what if uh, we required some other plane I mean uh, if I required some plane which is at certain angle with uh, both front angle and right plane because it's natural that uh, if I'm having these three planes then I can draw only on these three planes I am not able to draw on any other plane okay so for that we'll, I'll, uh, we have to go on reference geometry and then click on plane and then uh, it gives us uh, uh, certain options uh, it gives us certain options in which we can select our references and then we can create a new plane with the help of those references so a reference can be anything it depends on what type of plane which you want to create for example uh, if I give reference as the front plane I mean uh, if I if I want to draw some uh, plane which is parallel to this plane so for that you can you know just uh, select the plane I mean like the front plane and then you can increase or decrease the distance of the parallel plane which you want to get from your reference plane you can also you know flip the direction and uh, so this is about the I mean the parallel planes but what if uh, you want to draw a plane which is perpendicular to the front plane F so for that you'll have to go to geometry plane and select the front plane as the reference and then in the second reference box here you have to select this line so automatically uh, the SOLIDWORKS uh, no, SOLIDWORKS uh, no, uh, does the work and uh, selects uh, I mean it selects a common it find out it's a common between these two references which you have chosen and automatically it uh, goes for the perpendicular section so like this you can have the perpendicular plane but you can also you know increase or decrease the angle between these between the, I mean 90 degree obviously means the pr that this plane is perpendicular to the front plane but if you want some other angle then you can increase or decrease and if you want it to be the on the other side so for that you can flip its direction and this tool here it's uh, you know as it's uh, as it is obvious you can increase the number of planes by clicking on by using this tool so So 
so like this so it, it works like this so every new plane which you every plane which you are creating it gets it's getting added up here and it's having a different number you can also you know rename the plane which you are creating by going here and then renaming it so and now uh, what if if I want to create a plane which is uh, you know parallel I mean midway between the two planes midway I mean uh, it's equidistant from the two planes it's you know it's exactly at the center bit of the two planes so for that first you have to uh, select the two planes uh, the two planes I mean the two reference plane exactly if you want some plane which is at the mid midway between the pl two planes so for so naturally you have to select the reference as those two planes so here here I will be selecting the map plane number one and the front plane as the reference plane and then going to here and plane so you see automatically SOLIDWORKS you know is going to is going for the mid plane selection and then you know just click here and then it this plane you know this plane it's here let me just you know yeah, so it's visible so here is the plane so these are the general you know uh, working on the plane which we can do and down and then comes the axis axis is you know the axis uh, three axis which we are having the universal axis x x axis and the y axis and the z axis and these are the some other axis if you want uh, while working in your, in your geometry then you can take the help of this tool the reference axis uh, for example let's say this plane and this plane they are both intersecting at this line uh, so if I want the reference axis as this line so I'll you know select both this plane as the reference plane and then click here so I'm having the line here you know so th there are multiple you know selections there are multiple options to select the references for example if I have uh, if I have some cylindrical face let me create a cylindrical face for you top plane sketch So, for example, if I want an axis, if I want the central axis of this uh, of this cylinder, then uh, I can go for the reference geometry and then click on axis and then select this cylindrical and conical face and then select the cylindrical face or the conical face which you are having and automatically the SOLIDWORKS will give you the central axis of the of the geometry. So, like this, you are you are now having the axis. Here. Okay very convenient actually so similarly one line edge you know you can uh, do this two point if you are having two vertices then uh, you can you know select those two vertices and automatically the line will be generated so it was our axis and if you want to create a new coordinate you know a uh, new coordinate system a new x y and z axis x y and z play uh, system if you want to create a new one so you can uh, choose this m these options and then you will uh, you know SOLIDWORKS will give you uh, options to select the new x axis and new y axis and automatically the z axis because these three are at the 90 degrees with each other so automatically the third one will uh, will get selected so it was about coordinate system and uh, point point I mean uh, for example if I want uh, this uh, the center point of this of this face then 
I click on the edge and automatically the center point will the point will be generated here point one okay uh, one more thing uh, this uh, this axis which we just talked about the reference geometry in axis uh, there is a line by the name of center line so it's uh, you know nearly the same thing center line is actually it's also used for you know uh, giving references in SOLIDWORKS so it's one and the same one and the same thing and how to do that is you can go to a plane and then you no know, just like the center line like this And see you have a new reference line so this line you know uh, it's uh, it just to give a reference to some other geometry which you are creating it's not the I mean it's not uh, it's not the main line but it's it acts as a sidekick you can say for uh, for your other uh, for your rest of the geometry so that's all guys thanks thanks for watching